Maybe I should have called this adventure Ray's Rocky Adventure. Yeah, this place sure is full of rocks. Yeah, being from Florida, I never really had much opportunity to see any rocks. Yeah, pretty much all sand. But here I've got cliffs and boulders the size of houses. There's even old stone walls, roadways, and foundations. And I'm still fascinated every time I walk by one of these structures. I can't imagine how much labor it took without modern construction equipment to build these things. There's even a giant cube that looks like the Borg ship from Star Trek. Hey, that looks like Spock's coffin. It's not Spock's coffin. Beam me up, Scotty. There's no intelligent life down here. Can you be nice? There is no way, Captain. You cannot change the laws of physics. Who is that, Spock? No, Scotty. Keep working on it. Would you like to live long and prosper? Affirmative, Captain. Then let's get on with this episode. Warp speed, Mr. Sulu. Welcome back to Ray's A-Frame Adventure, number 11. Didn't you forget the word cabin? No, people know it's a cabin by now. Huh, less is more. I like it. Well, here we are, July 3rd, coming up on the 4th of July here. That's logical. It's uh, cloudy out, but I'm making progress. Got the other wall and the other roof framing done. So it's looking pretty good. It's just taking a while. Real hot again today. Fortunately, a little bit of overcast right now. Uh, I got a little bit more to do today, and then I'm going to head out. Where are we going? Back to Florida. Sure wish we had a transporter. Yeah, or at least warp drive. Anyway, this is the framing stage that I left off at. And in this episode, I'm going to finish up the framing there on the side rafters. I'm not showing in my rendering here, but I've also got to add those little points in the top of the roof that matches the rest of the side there. Then I'm going to add my plywood sheathing on the outside of the structure starting with the long A-frame walls and then eventually uh, working my way to doing the top portion of the roof there, the loft area where the roof juts out there, and then eventually uh, working my way doing the siding, the siding of the loft itself. Of course, I'm showing it here with the hardy plank siding already on it, but that's a whole nother video. You have to put the plywood on and the uh, vapor barrier first before you put any hardy plank siding on it. One other quick note was that the 2x8 material I used for the side rafters wasn't long enough for one piece, so I had to uh, join them together with another piece of 2x8 with an overlap nail. Let's see if I can hold this camera and do the video of climbing up the ladder here at the same time. Oh boy, of where's course, these ladders, steps in between each one are like two feet. Starfleet's not so going to like this. Wide. I've kind of blocked off my way to get in here, so I've got to kind of sneak through here without uh, falling. Do you purposely try to kill uh, yourself? So here we are up. It's perfectly safe. Up on the loft. And uh, come along good. Not that that's that thrilling for all of you, but there it is. I'm pretty excited. I want to see the fall. Really? Hey, it's good for ratings. Not if I get transported to the hospital and can't finish the videos. Eh, good point. Hey, who got beamed onto the job site? That's my son Adam who came up to lend a hand. So here we are, Adam's decided to come help me and he's decided he doesn't, he doesn't want to use a sissy hammer, which is that one. <laughs> he's going to use the big one. So that's my son Adam hammering away. Uh, a beautiful warm day here in the valley. <laughs> he's getting it done. My son Adam is pretty much a self-taught musician who plays guitar and sings at some of the local restaurants in Central Florida. Oh, another one of your shameless plugs for one of your kids. Hey, listen, he's pretty talented and he definitely earned it coming up to help me. Yeah, he's a star in my book for doing that. So book him today, people, and get 10% off when you mention this video. No. Saturday, July 16th. <sighs> I had to haul up some wood. I'm up the drive here again today. It's falling out of the back of the Xterra. Where's anyway, that? Some two by eight material, two by eight by sixteens, barely fit in there. They started falling out halfway up the mountain. You had to go back. That to was the floor. job. But anyway, here we are. We're doing okay. Just hot, hot. Had a thunderstorm this morning. Took off uh, early lunch for that, but uh, we're coming along. I'm just, as usual, fairly tired. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Very hot again. And. Uh, had the saw come off the top up up here 
uh, and then slide down, almost hit me in the head. Fortunately, it hit me in, in the foot, so it wasn't too bad. It's a miracle but, uh, we'll you're still alive. Out. We are up on the peak of the roof there, and uh, I had to notch out the logs to fit these, as you can see there, so we can fit some of these last rafters here so that uh, they'll kind of line up. But that's the view from top of the roof here. Wait for the fall, so folks. The, looking back up the mountain, I can't see as I'm looking in the phone, but... I'm not going to fall. Your guardian angel must be stressed out. Okay, back to work. <laughs> Probably. One more. One more on this side to go. Here you can see, in addition to toenailing and screwing every board, I added metal strapping wherever I could. I guess that's a carryover for, from all my hurricane experience down in Florida. It's like I always say, better safe than sorry. You always say that, huh? Yeah, that or uh, close enough for government work. <laughs> Here we are, July 23rd. Had the truck driver bring us some plywood. He got it up most of the way this time, dropped it off. So we're, Adam, my son's here. We're going to carry it up there to Yay, Adam's back. the site here. And uh, he was telling us the about mountain lions out on the property here and in this area. And we not, weren't sure if we believed him. And then we came across this, Adam came across this track here. I don't know if you can see it or not. I have a mountain lion track. So here's we can figure. There's obviously big cats here. Kind of looks like Bigfoot to me. So copperhead snakes, you know. Mountain lions, it's all good. You and that Bigfoot. Here you can see that we're starting to make some progress in decking the roof. I guess I did start with the top and then work down towards the side. Thursday evening, July 30th. You sound kind of winded again. Beautiful evening, warm today. I was always tired by the time I shot the video. I'm finally getting around to getting this roof started on the side there. You can see I got plywood on this side. It's looking pretty good. It's got a peak on it. Just... And then uh, down this side walls, we've got some of that done. Adam came up and helped me last few weekends. And so I'm up here this weekend by myself and did this over here and just... Uh, no wonder you're whipped. Yeah, exhausted. Okay, so what do we got here? Let's see if I can get out here without falling down here. Just want to make a note on the nailing pattern here. We've got it nailed along the edges there, about every four to six inches probably. Um, close to uh, eight inches here along the center, that's two foot on center. And then we've got some hurricane straps. You mean hurricane Not that clips. there's any hurricanes around here, but you know what, they still do get tornadoes, so. You're right, they're hurricane clips, well, not straps, which are longer. That's enough for today. I'm going in to clean up and get something to eat. Yes, yeah, so these are hurricane clips here, which go between the plywood and they hold the plywood together so that if the wind comes, it won't pry them apart in the event of a hurricane or high wind. Real quick, uh, on the uh, this new felt paper that they have, it's not really felt paper, it's self-adhesive. And I mean, this stuff is sticky. So the good thing about it is I didn't have to nail it down. I just had to peel and stick it, although this was still quite a bit of slope here, probably an 812, something like that. So I was pretty much falling off uh, the entire day. I had to put nails on the outside of that just to hold that first board to start. And uh, what a pain. I need to get Adam back up here. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, one other thing I just noticed as I'm sitting here, it kind of looks like the Pizza Hut roof, doesn't it? It's got that little point at the top. There's a lot of good things under our roof. Yeah, that was their slogan. Google it. Pizza, yum! So, this is, uh, seems perfectly safe to have a ladder doing... This is what it's... <laughs> yeah, doesn't need any more explanation than that. I'm sure that's OSHA approved. I am not seeing this. Oh, gosh, here we are getting the plywood on the one side in this shaky ladder. A uh, little rope up there. I had to finally haul the plywood all the way up to the top there and uh, with the rope and tie it off. I didn't tie off the first piece and then it uh, fell and slammed all the way down the mountain here and uh, had to drag that back up, so I learned my lesson. Anyway, another really, really hot day in the summer. I don't know, it's August 5th or something, I'm not sure, maybe it's the 6th. I'll find out and let you know in the next video. Anyway, it's coming along. Got, I wanted to talk about uh, this log here is balanced on this rock and on the log is balanced the ladder, which is then balanced on the roof so everything must be in balance. I really just wanted to do my Yoda thing. Mm, yes, balance is the key. Mm, key it is to balance. Eh, a little better uh, than Scotty. I should also mention, uh, while I was up on the roof here and between this spot and down there, I've lost so much stuff going falling down here. I've lost my drill. It fell off the top there and came down and went in the bushes somewhere and the battery came off of it. And I uh, lost my chisel down here somewhere and my tape measure just fell out of my pocket while I was shooting the last video. So it's down there too. I guess I'm going to have to go look for it. Better you than so me. So while I'm waiting to get enough energy to climb down the ladder, I'm just going to take a minute and sit here and watch the sunset. That's beautiful. I hear the birds chirping. That's my stomach growling. I'm ready to go to Pizza Hut.
Shh. Yeah, that'll do it. Wait, I hear the bird still. Wait, did that bird say Pizza Hut? Yeah, he said, I want to go to Pizza Hut. Do you want thin crust or pan pizza? Thin crust it is. So here I am spending my first thunderstorm, not in the car, but actually in the cabin here. I've got a tarp on the one side. Most of it's framed in with the plywood up on the top. I don't have it covered all with felt yet, but uh, most of it's covered as far as the plywood. So it's probably going to leak some, but that's okay. I just wanted to at least get the tarp up on this one open area so it's just not flooding the floor. And uh, yeah, it's coming. It's been raining down the valley actually for the last hour and a half down there. And now it's starting to rain on that side and it's coming up from behind me, which you can't see. Let's see if I can walk back in here and check it out without getting struck by lightning. Lightning's getting pretty bad. Eh, kind of hard to see. Monday, August 8th, now it's uh, really raining out. And I uh, decided to lay off the roof for a little bit here and just listen to the rain, watch the lightning, listen to the thunder. I'm scared. Uh, yep, yeah, raining pretty good. Quick note about the physical toll that this uh, construction takes on your body. I start off the week looking halfway decent, and then uh, as I get through the towards the end of the weekend, I look like I've been beat up a little bit here. You can see my stomach is just bruised up from hanging over all that plywood trying to get that roof done. There goes our G rating again. The beautiful mist after the rain. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Rain's over. Yeah, kind of like Noah it's after amazing. the flood. And here's the shipwrecked ark. And uh, <laughs> there we are with the blue tarp. Looks like hurricane season. Where's the rainbow? I'll show it in another episode. Saturday, August 13th, end of the day. I've been hip here all week. <sighs> Working and uh, looking pretty good. Got the Tyvek up on the outside there and all the uh, felt on the top of the roof there, that membrane. So, and uh, got some visitors this weekend who wanted to camp in the cabin. So, built this little plank to get across the ravine here for them so make sure they wouldn't fall in. It's a little wobbly, but it works. Okay, I'd take you upstairs, but I'm too tired to set the ladder up. So this is what we've got. And looking good. There we go. So before I leave for home, and uh, it's about a nine hour drive, I decided to come down to the little creek. There's still a little bit of water flowing in my creek. Not a lot, but just enough to get in and... Not much chance of drowning. Uh, wet myself here with a little bit over my head and some shampoo and soap and just get cleaned up before I go home. But the water is cool, very cool. And there's these little purple butterflies flying around here somewhere. There's a whole bunch of them. And I know what they are, but I can't remember right now what they're called. Butterfly. Oh, okay, now of course I think I frightened them all away. <laughs> And okay, I've got the car started. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little tiny one right on that rock there. No, no, take your time. See him there? Except he's, he's lighter on the underside. Boss is leaving. So like, closer. And then when he flies, he's, I guess he's not going to fly. It's actually more of a purple shade. We'll take your Let's word for it. Okay, come on. Oh, well, he flew. Say goodbye. That was Just remember this. Jesus loves you. And I'm trying. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not really trying. <laughs> Just kidding again. I am trying.